Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Diamond Painting with Ruby Q, and today I have an unboxing from Victoria's Mood. Um, yeah. So, this is not a diamond painting. This is actually a paint by numbers. So, hmm, we shall see. They actually contacted me like two months ago, I believe, and asked me if I would do a review on their paint by numbers, and I said yes. And I received this canvas um, last month, but I wasn't able to get around. That's why it's open already because, of course, I had to take a sneak peek. So, this came within, I think, two to three weeks. And it was wrapped, like, in that black, um, like, trash bag paper thingy. <laughs> so, here it is. So, yeah, they started doing uh, paint by numbers. So, that's pretty interesting. Um, it came in this box. I think it's really cute. Um, here is a canvas. And I really like the material. It's, like, really good canvas material. Um, let's take a look at the inside real quick. If it just gets out, it's like stuck in there. Okay. Oops. Okay, so here are the colors. I like that they come in like inside of um, these two things right here. That way they don't like move around. Um, for example, this is from another kit that I have. So you can see the difference here is these are just kind of like everywhere and these are uh, still standing because of this um, black board I think it's, it's I think it's a board so yeah um, let's see also this one comes with a lot more brushes than this kit does this is a different company by the way I don't remember which one but I just want to show you the difference okay so let's open up this kit this painting kit and I will be posting if I haven't already um, all the information you guys need about price, size, and all that. Oh, it's actually foam. Okay, so that's cool. So they just stick it in there. It's foam. So that's pretty neat. It'll keep your paint in place when you're painting. Pretty, pretty neat. And I like that it comes with a color list right here. Um, this is the image that I picked because it is very beautiful, very vibrant, and very colorful. So this comes with how many colors? Mm. I think they okay so it's double okay so they double it so it's 24 colors but they give you an extra um, set so that's pretty smart I like that because if you ran out of any of these colors you could just use these right here so that's pretty good okay so that's the colors let's take a look at the brushes real quick um, it does come with two sets of brushes so I think that they're the same um, type of brushes, but I think that they put two, just like they put two sets of colors in case, um, you know, these become damaged while you're working on them because then you got to dip it in water a lot. Also, they might have just did it so that you can work on your diamond, or your diamond painting, on your paint by numbers um, with someone else. So that is pretty nice. It also comes with these... Um, metal cling thingy so you can hang your painting afterwards um i think that's what it is right what are those things called yeah whatever you know me i don't know what things are called and i have brain parts all the time so anyway let's take a better look at these brushes real quick okay so we have two thin ones and a bigger one a uh, squared shaped so i like that they comes with the two pointy small ones because Sometimes you need these small brushes to get onto the smaller um, parts of your painting, which I will show you next. All right. If you hear the baby crying in the background, baby daddy is watching the baby. So, <laughs> yeah, men when they watch babies. Okay, so this is actually really big. It's a 70 by 50 centimeter canvas. Um, and like I said, it's so soft. It's really good material. Um, you could... Oh, so it comes with the foam roller. That's cool. Um, what I like about this is that this painting isn't going to be um, hard to do because of all the big spaces. 
Um, I've seen some that have like really tiny spaces, like for example, this right here. See those little lines like right there? These are all small, but I, I'll be fine painting those. Um, so if you don't know what this is, if you're new to paint by numbers is you, so for example, this is 17. So you look for number 17 right here and that's that color and you would just paint this area um, with a corresponding color. And then it just kind of creates this beautiful image. Um, also, I like that it has a color list on the side. It does say, um, I think this is like Vic for Victoria. Um, this says number 33. Um, I believe if you put that in a search, um, you'll be able to find this um, particular image painting. And again, it says right here, it's a 70 by 50 centimeter. So it's gonna be pretty big. I can't wait to start on this. And I'm actually gonna do a sample for you guys. Um, let me take this off my camera real quick so I can show you the whole image. Okay, so there she is. She is very beautiful. Her shoulder, let's take a closer look. So yeah, the spaces are not that small, so that's pretty good. And I like how it kind of like, it's gonna make it where it kind of blends into the other colors. So it's not gonna look like a paint by numbers, it's gonna look like a painting that you buy or an artist painted. But I guess you would be considered an artist by painting this. <laughs> so yeah, it is pretty nice. Hello guys, I am back and I have started on this and I have several things to point out. So let's take a closer look. Um, so I think that this is actually pretty good. I feel like the reason that you see little lumps and clumps there is because of the brushes that I was using. Um, they were kind of crappy, but then I bought some new ones and it was a lot better. <clears throat> and yeah, I did kind of, um, do little smudges on there because I wanted to see where number 18 was in this area right here. Um, here are the brushes. Whoops, not that one. Here are the brushes that I used. So they were really crappy to use. Um, like the ends of these little ones were kind of, uh, they weren't even even. So you have little hairs. Let's see if I could zoom in on there. Okay, so you see how it's all broken up at the end? Yeah, that didn't help <laughs> with like the little crevices and stuff. And then also this one right here, it was, I had to actually use it like this, like all dried up <laughs> because it gave me a cleaner, um, a cleaner line when I was doing these uh, sections right here, like right there and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> yeah, sorry, I'm, I, I feel like I'm getting sick. <laughs> okay, so what I did was I went on Amazon and I spent, I think it was like $11 on these right here. So I haven't even opened these yet right here because these are so good that I have only been using one, um, which fell on the floor. Let me get it real quick. Sorry about that. Okay, so... This is the one that I have been using right here. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Focus. Okay, so I have been using this one uh, to paint and so far it's been working with even the small sections. So um, I will be using the other ones and these are actually really long. Um, compared to these so look if I put them together that is how different they are um, I will link down these brushes and that way you know because I'm gonna tell you right now these are crappy these are not for this type of um, paint by numbers it's not it's not gonna work these are just really shitty and you see these in most all kits so if I had to suggest something I would say um, invest in better brushes and your this would be like way different than other companies because every single paint by numbers company that I've seen has these blue brushes that suck 
Okay, I'm just gonna be blunt. <laughs> All right, so also, I'm gonna open one of these paint thingies up so you can see. Okay, so what I notice about this paint is that it's very thick, um, but with the lighter colors, you do, or even actually the dark colors, you do have to go over um, the area. So as you can see uh, right here, I have to go over it again right there. Um, so you see all these little white dots right here. I have to go over that again too. So I don't know if this is like every um, paint by numbers out there, but you will have to be going over it several times to get what you want, to get it to where you don't see these white splotches and everything like that. So, with that being said, um, I can't compare this paint to another company because this is my first paint by numbers. I have bought some in the past, but I haven't actually started on it. This is the first time I actually started on a painting. Um, so like this one, I went over it several times and I don't know why it's not focusing guys. Today's is not the day. So as you can see, I did go over this plenty of times, but if you do that a lot, it's going to clump up and it's not going to look nice. So I want to know if anyone out there has done a paint by numbers and if this has happened. Um, overall, um, so far, I think everything's going fine. Um, I want to finish the painting before I would say I do recommend or I don't recommend uh, Victoria's Moon for paint by numbers. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to slowly but surely finish this painting and then I will be back with a post review in another video. I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the... Uh, bleh. I try to say I'll see you next time and I'll see you in the next video at the same time. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye guys.